The Monerotopia Weekly News segment is sponsored by WizardSwap.io, a non-custodial cryptocurrency exchange. Tody. Hey, everybody. Hi. Post uh, two hurricanes and 19 tornadoes here. <laughs> oh, shoot. Did that go right on top of you? So actually, I live on the East Coast, and my city is one that wasn't affected, luckily. But the one above and the one below, uh, they had tornado. It was mostly just tornadoes on the East Coast, but the West That's Coast. <laughs> was... Just tornadoes. On just the East tornadoes. Coast. <laughs> well, just, torn just like 19 tornadoes. But <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, well, where I live, it, was, it wasn't bad at all. Um, a couple years ago, I had to leave, and then it was following me where I was going, so I went back. Yeah, but the West Coast, I would not live on the West Coast. It's, it's too much. They got hit bad, right? Yeah, yeah, they got hit. They got hit bad. Um, okay, so let me share my screen. Mm, okay. And uh, let me add it. Okay, so I'm gonna take the shilling from Doug and continue, uh, guys. If you have if you haven't bought your tickets for Monerotopia, which is a month away, uh, go ahead and purchase your tickets. You can use this one percent card discount, or you can use my code Tony twenty four apply, and you're gonna get ten percent off. So. I recommend you buy the VIP ticket. You get a dinner and a lot of other things. So um, make sure you use it. And I see Foxcoid. Hello, hola, hola, all. Hey, hex Foxcoid. Um, also, we're close to 10K uh, subscribers on on YouTube, which is awesome. So guys, like, share, and like Doc said, nobody likes to promote the conference. <laughs> um or the show outside of monero so it's really appreciated if you share like and and um to our friends whoever is might be interested uh it's more word of mouth mouth just because um the attacks that we are getting for being part of the monero community now let's move on to let's see to Copa Monero. So tomorrow is the semifinals of the Monero Cup 2024. We have Fire versus Parachain. And then we have Kickwall versus Monero Topia in the semifinals. Now, <laughs> so what I thought if, if Monero Topia wins, it's not rigged. <laughs> it may seem like it's rigged uh, and a bit uh, biased, but um, that'd be quite funny. Uh, but yeah, but the semifinals are tomorrow and then November 17th is uh the final of the uh, copa monero it's very exciting so that's gonna be really cool i'm really curious if who's gonna win um and then i want to take you to what the crypto vigilante tweeted on uh, x this is a pretty cool story unfolding it's pretty cool and then like doc said uh organic adoption of monero is happening in a small town in argentina and no one is in crypto knows um yeah, so Coindesk, Coin Telegraph. If you're somehow watching this, you know, make sure you make an article about this. Write an article, and um, or anybody, just just share the word. It's really amazing. It's really really cool. Um, yeah, but I need to write a story on this. Twelve local teams competing in a football tournament with Monero Prize. Hundreds of people attending the games, and um, the crypto vigilante also. Uh, commented back, Monero Town is truly one of the greatest stories of the year. It is a true success story for all of crypto. It's literally an entire town adopting Monero. Incredible development. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, it's really cool to see how it came along and how it just improved with the camera quality and everything by time. And it's just gonna get it's just gonna get better and better. Moving on. So <laughs> this is cool. If you decide to work at Cake, well, two thirds of the employees are paid in Bitcoin, XMR, USDT. All treasuries in XMR and Bitcoin, which is which is awesome. And Monero is quite stable. So, if you do choose to to work at Cake and you want to be paid in crypto, it's it's possible. Now, moving on. So we're gonna talk a bit. We talked a bit a bit about uh, Monero. Now I want to bring some more political uh, news, which they all tie into Monero, after all. 
or privacy or your freedom. So um, NATO will start an annual nuclear exercise as Russia threatens Ukraine's Western backers. So this Monday, NATO is going to showcase their nuclear nuclear power. Russia, uh, Russia's Putin has been talking about his nuclear power and how it's um, so much stronger than uh, what, what they have. Uh, but yeah, NATO will hold a long plan major nuclear exercise this Monday. The alliance's chief said Thursday, a few weeks after President Vladimir Putin announced changes to Russia's nuclear doctrine to discourage Ukraine's Western allies from supporting attacks on his country. Now, this guy, Mark uh, Rutte, is very important. So let's go to this video. It's a minute and a half. But. Um, he got appointed as a secretary general of NATO uh, on October 1st. Now, they want Ukraine to become a member of NATO, which Putin will absolutely not like that. He would not want that. And he would probably do some real, real damage if, if that happens. Um, yeah, so that's it's quite crazy. So let, let's watch this video and then uh, maybe we'll talk a bit more. Mark Rutte, our former prime minister of over 10 years, who single-handedly ruined the country by flooding it with immigrants, destroying our economy, and the same guy who came after our farmers, he just got appointed as the secretary general of NATO. And of course, we have been warning about this for a long time because Mark Rutte essentially bought his position into the NATO. He was spending billions and billions of euros, our taxpayers' euros on Ukraine, was seen constantly hugging with Zelensky. And now, just a few months after he's no longer the prime minister, he has been appointed secretary general of NATO. This man has not even been in office one day, one day, and he already said that Ukraine should be part of NATO. And Ukraine's irreversible path to membership. And we must sustain this support into the future. Because Ukraine's rightful place is in NATO. So after ruining our entire country, he is now dead set on dragging all of you guys into World War III and just ruining it for everyone. So get ready, because this man is a threat to not just our society, but the world, essentially. Yeah, essentially. So... Yeah, that's that's quite a big bold statement. And you have, when it comes to this, you have to talk to to Putin. You can't just hide on the west side and just uh, make statements like this and think that everything is gonna be okay. No, Putin has nuclear, and who knows, <laughs> he may use it now. Yeah, this also ties into just the misinformation that the government is trying to push. Um, in regards to to Ukraine and everything, for, like for example, did you know Ukraine is actually an artificial state? Uh, they uh, they have parts from Romania, Hungary, uh, Poland, uh, Crimea, which is Russia's. A lot of stuff. So it, it, it's it's quite scary. Hopefully, nothing is going to happen. But yeah. Um, then let's see. Oh, this is the press conference that I have right here from uh nato so which is essentially what what he said that ukraine is on a reversible path towards nato which you know if that's what they want to do fine but with putin and him doing what he might do which is use nuclear you know whatever uh, for them to not get into nato it's you need to talk to him it's, it's not a joke yeah so we, we should see what's going to happen with that um then <laughs> so this is from X. Somebody said the government put fluoride in our water and attacked anyone who questioned it. Now the NIH, after major pressure, has declared it reduces the IQ of children and is hazardous to me to human health. And states are removing it from water. I've heard about this. I haven't quite looked into it to say yes or no. Uh, but I, I mean, I, I don't. I personally don't drink the water in the U.S. from the tap. Um, so yeah, it's it must be bad for your health for sure. And if it's bad for you to drink, it's probably bad for your skin to wash your uh, hands with. But uh, 
yeah, this, this, this is going to tie into what I'm going to get into next, which is these are just attempts from the government, so not just intellectually, but also for your health, to try to make you into a more degraded state, your children too, so that you're uh, less probable to revolt. And let's actually take it to uh, this article on... The COVID mRNA vaccine, a major study involving 1.7 million children, has found that heart damage only appeared, appeared in children who had received COVID mRNA vaccines. Not a single unvaccinated child in the group suffered from heart related problems. In addition, the researchers note uh, zero children from the entire group, vaccinated or unvaccinated, died from COVID 19. Um, yeah, so tying, tying it back into the water and the fluoride, this. Um, Kids, people just getting more diseases in general, the autism being on the rise, heart disease, all this stuff. They want to make you in such a state that you you just can't can't revolt. And now let's see. Now I want to show you this article. So we'll tie it into this. Now it says this is an article, a news article. It says number of non binary students in Maryland district sourced by 582 percent that's uh it's <laughs> quite a big jump in 2022 and it said the largest public school system in Maryland saw a 582 increase in the number of students identifying as non-binary over two years um this is obviously not is this obviously a, a creation when I was growing up as a kid in Eastern Europe nobody was non-binary or whatever this is crazy but uh march um uh, first uh, 2024 um maryland school district accused of training substitutes on student gender identity so the largest school district in maryland is being accused of quizzing aspiring substitute teachers on topics related to gender identity and also you may have noticed it's quite quite annoying now if you are applying for a job or things like that um they ask you what your gender is and there's like a hundred million genders and things that you can choose from and you're just trying to go straight to male or female <laughs> yeah and this all ties into first they want to attack your health then they want to attack you intellectually they want to make you confused of who you, who you are um yeah, so this this is all part of their uh, their plan. So, so actually, somebody said it was quite funny. Let me see if I can find it. If if they them got at least enough homework for two people, <laughs> then that percentage would drop by five hundred and eighty two percent. That'd be quite funny. Honestly, if you identify as they them, which is a pro, you, you get double the homework. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah uh then let's go yes let's go to this so we've been talking about the whole uh, migration uh issue that is happening in, in europe and not just but uh this is quite bad so this is a um it says fake african asylum seeker in italy defaced martano church with arabic writings he also defaced cars and houses shouting allah uh akbar and Wall Street Silver uh, reposted it and said, when will the European governments realize they made a mistake and deport them all? Probably never. Probably never. Because, you, yeah, probably never. So let's watch this video. It's like 40, 40 seconds. Yeah, so <laughs> I I don't even have words sometimes to describe what is happening. It's not only bad that you're importing the uh, fairly reasonable investor. I'm so confused right now about the situation. I'm also quite 
confused about why um, they're doing what they're doing, if that's what you mean. But um, yeah, not only they're importing the third world, which tends to be less educated in Africa, for example, it's just the fact they have less access to education, but they also import the ones that have a lot of issues like this guy right here. And then they just let them come to Europe. Sweden is going to give them 35,000 euros for living for like a year or something per person. So that's great. You know, bring your whole family, go to Sweden, get 35,000 euro and then get out in one year <laughs> and collect your money. And then just buy a house back where you're from. Uh, it's, it's quite insane. And again, the reason why uh, we're talking about this on the show is because these are all attacks to your freedom, you're even like personally, intellectually on, on all levels. Um, so that's that's why we, we discuss these, these kind of things. Maybe you don't see them as directly related to Monero, but the reason why Monero uh, exists is because of the crazy things that the government is trying to do against us with all the either bugs campaign and owning nothing and uh, all, all these things. Now, okay, let's go to this video from Eva. Uh, she talks about, let's see, this is an article from actually 2000s, UK whites will be minority by 2100. So uh, it's a 30 second video. Let's go ahead and watch this. You, of course, you're going to be attacked if you say, hey, this continent, Europe, has been predominantly white for, you know, the entirety of its history. And now suddenly within one generation, a few bureaucrats have decided against the will of the people that we should suddenly be a minority. Why do we agree that with that? Or why do we allow that to happen? If you say that, you are going to be attacked. But the only other option then you have is say nothing and have it happen. So the choice is yours, you know, and I've made my choice. Hmm. Yeah, but, but the also, also the question is if, I mean, with the educational system, they're already making us kind of dumb. And now they're importing the third world, which does not have access to the education. And that's what they want, so that they can vote them back, essentially, or whatever they, they may want. But if you're going to rule over ruins in, who knows, decades from now, especially who knows with nuclear or what else, What's the point? Like, if you're just gonna rule over nothing, like, what, what what's the point? It's, it's just crazy that we live in in such a time where we should have been so far ahead, but no, we're not. We're actually way way far way far back than than before. Nobody reads anymore. Nobody. Uh, it's just different. The whole intellect is just just going down overall year by year and quite rapidly. Um, let's see. Okay, so this one is about Monero directly. So Monero Maverick wrote on X, I've been screaming from the rooftops that Monero is under attack. And we all we all know that <laughs> Monero is under attack. Uh, the state prefers Zcash, of course, and tries to sell doubt in Monero alongside banning and shadow, banning accounts, threatening crypto and normal news, perceived untraceability, an informant inside of Coin Bureau who asked not to be named has told me that the feds came to them and said to not post any videos about Nero again two years ago. Uh, and then he has a post, um, a screenshot from, I think it's Wikipedia. Um, for now, Monero is untraceable. Whole. However, it is probably only a matter of time and effort before it changes due to its perceived untraceability. <laughs> Uh, and then one more screenshot. Zcash. Zcash offers private transactions the option of selective disclosure, allowing a user to prove payment for auditing purposes. Uh, <laughs> one such reason is so make it easier for private transactions to comply with anti-money laundering laws and tax regulations. So allowing a user to prove payment for auditing purposes or also allowing us to have a backdoor <laughs> into your cryptocurrency which that doesn't make it fully fully private when you say a product is private that means that you you kind of you can use it with your life that's what it should mean um with zcash i don't think i would trust my life using zcash if i had to and let's see i think this is the last 
thing I have for today. So this is Trump saying, never sell your Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and watch it. Never sell your Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> never sell your Bitcoin. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, that was from uh, that was from July, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I yeah that was from the Nashville in July. I was gonna say because it was posted now, but I remember that this was from a while back. Yeah, I definitely made everyone happy. Just yeah, hold yeah. it. Don't use it. Just hold it forever. Yeah. Like uh, like we all have the uh, Pokemon cards and the. Uh... <laughs> I mean, actually, those are people actually buy them from quite a lot, so maybe I shouldn't say that. But yeah, essentially, it's. It's a crypto that cannot be used as a currency for for many reasons. It's not private, so it's not fungible. Definitely can be used as a currency. And uh, a lot of issues besides we talked about in the past, and we all know about uh, essentially when uh, we're going to reach the last Bitcoin mine, what's going to happen? Are the fees going to sustain it? Well, they need to be low enough to be used as a currency. But I guess some agree that it's not a currency anymore. It's just a... Uh, um, something to store your money in uh, but can it actually do that when it's just based off of um belief amongst the group that it works or you know yeah there, there's a lot of um it's gonna be interesting if he wins and how the whole crypto uh direction is gotta go but if he's truly about freedom he he should look into monero i bet he probably knows about it there's probably no way that he doesn't at this point me called 66 trump laser eyes long yeah yeah the problem with laser eyes is that they talk to each other and they blind themselves with the laser eyes <laughs> and then they don't see the <laughs> what's going on or the truth but um yeah so this was a new section everybody again um like like and share we'll close to 10 000 subscribers on on youtube so like and share and one more time because we are getting close um, if you haven't bought your tickets, if you have or regular or whatever, uh, make sure you use code Tony24 and you're going to get 10% off your, your order. There's a couple others. Uh, Tux has one. I think Body. I think Monero Topia as a whole has one. So, uh, yeah, there's quite a couple. It's a good deal, guys. But, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a very good deal. And it, it's an amazing conference. So each year was a lot of fun. So.